Today we're going to talk about how to maintain and ensure that your horse's tail looks beautiful at all times. It is pretty hard to keep them nice and clean in the winter, but today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to ensure that the tail is growing, that the tail is clean, and that you make sure that the tail is as healthy as possible. Today we're going to be using our exclusive mane and tail brush our Paul Lumi double concentration spray and a standard mane and tail brush that you can buy from any business. Um, why those three I'll be explaining as we go along. First of all, before I groom horses tails, I always spray them quite generously with a, a conditioner. This is not a mane and tail spray only, this is a conditioning spray which you can use on the mane tails and the whole coat. So I start from the top and always go down first in a straight line. Remember to always double double spray at the end because those will get the driest and then turn the tail so you can go underneath and spray again and turn to the other side and spray here. The wind is not helping us today, I'm sorry. It's great when it's sunny because you can see where you didn't spray. <laughs> Okay, what is good to do is always to apply a bit of pressure from your own hands so you ensure that the whole tail is sprayed properly. If your hand is not going through as easily, you can, it means that you need to reapply a little bit more to the parts where your hand is not sliding as fast. Then we're going to use our mane and tail brush and the most important part now is to twist the tail first. So you hold the tail, wait until the tail bone is finished and start twisting. I'll start walking away so you can see it properly. And hold, always leave about arm's length to start grooming the tail. You use it in that direction first, so where it says mane and tail, and use it in a sweeping motion. See how quickly that got cleaned. Now remove another arm's length and go higher up the tail. When you have the tail twisted, you can move it around, you can twist to any direction that suits you for your own easiness of grooming. And then up again. For this purpose, I'm gonna stay on this side so you can guys see. But usually I won't be standing so close to any horse. I know this horse inside out. So I hope you can appreciate this. So now I got to the actual tail. And here we're going to again first use the brush in this motion. You will see here all the dirt starting to move and remove from the, from the tail. So you just keep going and ensure that you brush on the side, on the both sides of the tail. And again, just using the sweeping motion, so you really clean the tail. When you use a good conditioner for the tail, you will see how it distributes with the brush as well. And 
that's what I love about those brushes so much. Once you go this way, you turn the brush straight and move it down. If we can come here, you'll really see how much dirt there is coming out of the tail. And how quickly the hair start to lie closer to the actual bone of the tail. That is still skin, guys. So that means that all the natural oils will start to come to the tail and it will help with the growth and ensure that the tail is maintained to the best possible and healthy way. After I finish, just for a finishing touch, this is for myself, I always like to spray the tail again just to ensure that all the oils are properly in the coat or mane and tail. So I would reapply. I don't do this often. I maybe clean the tails once every two or three weeks. So this will just ensure that it's not missed anything and that the tail is protected from mud and from the all the environment, environmental aspects of being out in the field. But look at this shine and the beautiful natural hair. If you are very picky and you want to make the tail more big, you can use the standard brush to go through the tail. But again, remember to twist the tail first. Just pick up a bit of it and go from the bottom to the top. I'll do it for this video so you can I prefer when they are maybe a bit more natural, but I appreciate some of you need to look in a top condition. See how much hair came out of this brush. Loads when the other one didn't pick any. So if you can use our main and tail brush, it will ensure that you keep all the hair in best condition and you don't pull out the hair. Thank you for watching.